Hey everyone, welcome to a well overdue get ready with me video, we're just going to jump straight into it and the first thing that I'm doing is applying my SPF 50 which is from the body shop, it's called the body shop defense, skin defense actually. And now I'm using this Audacity Pure Elements Papaya Skin Concentrate, it's kind of like a serum and I'm applying a few drops on, the, on my skin and seriously this stuff is really really nice, like a dry oil, you can get it from Cult Beauty and it's going to help brighten and even out your skin tone and I've really 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 been loving this stuff, I usually use it at night time and sometimes in the morning but it's so good, I definitely recommend this stuff. Um, and then the Smashbox Primerizer, I love this stuff as well. I usually use this every time I wear my makeup and it's just it's just really hydrating and it helps your makeup last all day long. Now I'm using my Benefit Brow Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade 6 and I'm just filling my brows in and imitating hairs with this brow pencil. I actually <laughs> I'm obsessed with this brow pencil. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's really good just to keep my brows hairs in place. And then I'm using my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden to really like clean up my brows and carve them out and make them look a bit more defined and structured, you know. And I found out that this is the only concealer that I get along with to carve out my brows. It's actually a really good one. Then I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape on my lids as my eyeshadow base. This is going to prevent creasing and I'm just blending it all out. And now the style of the show, we're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Oh my god, look how beautiful it looks. It looks so gorgeous. But anyways, we're going to use this today and I'm using this shade where the little cat is. Can you see the cat head? Right there. <laughs> we're using that first shade to set the concealer in play. And now we're going to use this shade called Low Blow and we're going to apply this on the crease and really buff that in. To add a bit more colour to my crease I'm using this shade called Cayenne, it's like a bright reddish shade I would say and I'm just adding this on top of Low Blow. And then after that I'm going to use the shade Ashes which is like a deep like purpley shade I would say, like an aubergine shade and I'm just applying this on the outer V of my eyes, in the inner uh, outer corners I mean. And for my lid I'm using the shade Lumbra, it's like a duochrome shimmery shade, it has some pink reflex in it but gold as well, it's just such a pretty warm shimmery shade and I'm just applying this on my mobile lid and blending it softly into the um, aubergine colour that we use on the outer corner and now I'm using this shade called Ounce and, and it's like the lighter shade in the palette and this is just to kind of like highlight my brow bone, I've like lost my words there. <laughs> I am touching up with um, ashes to deepen up the outer corner and then here I'm using my Rimmel Glam Eyes eyeliner and I'm just going to do a wing, simple wing really. And then after that I'm going to use my Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara and I'm just going to pop a bit on before I put my falsies on and my falsies are going to be from Classy Lashes UK in Claudia, these are like one of my favourite lashes ever. I just pop those on and that's what it looks like. I did go off camera to finish off the other eye and once I was done with that we're going to go back onto the skin and I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation it's like the performance wear foundation and I blotted this all over my face and I'm just blending it with my damp beauty blender and this is in the shade cardamom and I absolutely love this foundation I will have a review up on it soon so if you want to see like all the goods like the cons and pros to it then just wait hopefully I will have it up this week so now I'm going on with my concealer and I'm using the shade tan sand again from Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and blend it all out and I'm using my Fenty Beauty matchsticks in suede and espresso and just contouring and adding dimension into my skin to my face my very round face and I actually really really love these I actually use them a lot and I just find them really really easy to blend and they stay on and I don't know I really recommend these like I never thought I would be into cream contouring but I these have made me really love cream contouring you know especially having a round face like I have a really round face and this just helps to give structure back to my face and I've actually liked to use it on my nose because it makes it so much easier but yeah, once I'm done blending that, I'm going to use my Kat Von D loose setting powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes and underneath the contour to make it a bit more sharper. Um, this powder is really, really good. Like it makes your skin look really soft and it doesn't crease, like it doesn't crease your concealer. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. And now I'm using my bronzer brush to brush off any excess powder on my cheeks. And I also went in with the Bobbi Brown bronzer in deep just to add a bit more colour to my cheeks and to the, my forehead and stuff because I really like to look tan. Um, and now I'm brushing off the excess powder under my eyes 
And then we're going back to the lower lash line and I'm using the shade Cayenne first and then I buffed in a bit of Ashes which is the darker shade that we use closer to the lash line and it just creates a nice gradient on the lower lash line. And back onto mascara I'm just popping a bit more on both eyes. Now onto the most exciting part, <laughs> the highlight obviously. Um, I love this highlight, it's from Bobbi Brown, this is the moon glow one, the Christmas one. Oh my god it's so pretty, look at it, straight away. And then I just apply this on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, um, like my forehead, temples and my chin and my cupid's bow actually, basically everywhere, just put it everywhere. No, I'm joking, but basically the highest points of your face and also the inner corners I like to use with my finger for that now onto lips I'm using the Lottie London slay all day liquid lipstick in boss it's like one of their new shades and this is so pretty I love this color so much and I just apply that all over and yeah I think that's it guys that's the end of this get ready with me I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more of these kind of get ready with me let me know and um, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye